my soul needed a savage friend, a weird daredevil, but do you mend my life? You came at it and thinks you got me on the wrong track. Fought the cancer in a colder sack. Lean says bite back. On life stacked racetrack, we react, lacking the cool, but we lean and we lean. Hi, this is Blue. Hi, it's Lean. I'm back. <laughs> well, temporarily. I don't know for how long, but I'm back yeah. this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're cramming in a whole lot of uh, recordings today, in, unless something happens. So, yeah, hopefully everything's all good. So, uh, yeah, but we kind of thought we would do <laughs> once a month, maybe like one white Western artist, <laughs> one random white Western guy, <laughs> one random white Western guy. So to pull us a little bit out of our cape, we, we don't want to really get out of our K-pop, J-pop, J-rock, K-rock, um, uh, like, like happy bubble but yeah but we thought we would like we saw a clip of him and uh, we've got it on one of our shorts we saw a clip of Livingston um online and we were like oh my god that sound that song sounds so good so yeah we we definitely listening to that now as there's no MVs for the songs as far as I can see so we're just gonna enjoy it and listen to it and we're listening to a second song of his so we just can get to know him as an artist and we can put him on our like Spotify because we think he looks yeah. pretty cool. So Lean has been waiting too long to hear the full of this song. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. you waited. <laughs> well, and we were like, I think he released it 8th of March, but obviously we've had stuff going on with, we were supposed to react to it last weekend, but sadly Lean's dad uh, had a stroke. And so we've delayed it. And so we just, we kind of missed the release week, but we're doing it now. So yeah. And for and all those people that were sending well wishes and asking, my dad is okay. He's got a long recovery, but he's stable and is hopeful. So yeah, everything's fine. Okay, let's get into it then. I've been so dying to hear this. Me too. <laughs> right. Let's do it. No captions, but it's in English. So I'll be very, very surprised if you can't understand it, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> One foot in the ground, one foot in the grave Don't you dare make a sound, Shh, hear you from a mile away Run from the town, all you need is your name And the sweat on your brow and the blood running through your veins Don't think twice, you'll be dead in a second Turn your eyes, from your hands to the heavens Kill your pride, turn your fear to a weapon And don't you forget it don't you let him take control Don't you let him break your soul It's not the devil at your door It's just your shadow on the floor Do you know something? He gives me DPR Ian vibes He does, he gives me DPR Ian vibes but he also gives me Taka from 1 OK Rock vibes He's yeah, got that same voice Combo the two, it's so weird, it's like the slightly rock is in there. I wouldn't really say this was a rock song, but it's got that rock feel. He's got yeah. a rock voice, but then it's got the uniqueness of DPR Ian's music that's slightly eerie. Yeah, totally. I really like it. I do. Oh my God, I might actually wait for like a random white Western guy's music again. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going off white music. <laughs> I know it. It sounds so good, and like he's the power that his voice has is incredible. I love it. And um, there like was, it. there was someone that was like, "Oh, but there's a bit of auto tune on this." Yeah, but that was it's used stylistically. I would and love for them to find me one single studio recorded song in the history of studios that does not have auto tune on it. I'll be waiting. Exactly. Please give me one. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and also, like, I just. I just wish success for Livingston. He seems like a really nice guy. And um, I think with this song, and I, I don't know much about his history, but from what I can see is like he's got a, actually quite a good discography, but he's only coming to the forefront now. So I really, really hope uh, that like he gets really successful because, and like from what I know of this song, I think it's about anxiety, which is great. Because it's like you can feel the message come through in the way it's composed and also the way it's delivered. So, yeah, we should know that 
like we don't know anything about him he literally just popped up on our for you on tiktok with a clip of that song and we were like who is this man <laughs> <laughs> we knew nothing we know nothing we he's do just it's just that way well i know a little bit more than lean so lean knows nothing but i haven't listen to any of his other stuff i've heard a clip of this but when i went in to go and like find this in his discography i saw like you know how you go into your, a youtube page and i saw mm -hmm. all his stuff there like and you could almost see his progress just by those the like thumbnails of what he's done um so i'm really really intrigued and then like I clicked on the one video because I was looking for an MV and it had some really cool comments about his journey. And I was like, that's so cool. That's all I know about him. So this is the aside for this is the first full song that I've listened to of his. Um, but well, it's the, the previously I've only heard clips from the song. So it's really okay. cool to start exploring new artists. I'm excited. Well, I'm liking this. So are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> On the clock, one eye on the mirror. Take a step through your thoughts. Is it getting clearer if they follow you whenever night falls? We used to listen to my call. Who do you trust in knowing it all? Or knowing it all, don't think twice. Do you know what it is? It's slight essence of Freddie Mercury. Yes, it does. You're right. It's got that yeah it's the the way they used to like make their like when a song didn't stick to one thing it was kind of all over the place like bohemian rhapsody the little voices the little changes the little like it's that's what it is it is he's got also a slight edge of like insanity to his voice i like it i do really cool. i like it too in a second turn your eyes from your hands to the heavens kill your pride turn your feet to a weapon and don't you forget it. Oh, don't you let him take control. Don't you let him make you so. It's not the devil at your door. It's just your shadow on the floor. I really like that chorus. That's very much how it feels to be gripped by anxiety. It totally fits this. Song. I really want to hear him belt a rock song. His voice, you can tell, just with those little bits. He, that dude has power in his voice. I want to hear him do a belter. <laughs> Unbelievable. Totally agree. And and like, I was thinking the same thing when when we were listening to it. It's just like the message of like it's just a shadow, like. It is like it's all in our head, all the anxiety that we feel, it's in our head. It's not outside outside of ourselves. We have control. It's not someone it. coming at you, it's not the devil at your door. It's you. It's you, it's your shadow. It follows you all the time. Yeah, totally yes. get that. Executive dysfunction. <laughs> he he must be on our team. <laughs> he, must be, he, must, he must be ADHD like us as well. <laughs> must. Okay, ready. Ready. <laughs> Tell me that you hate me, yeah, I heard it all before There's a life here for the taking, is it mine or is it yours? All I am is what you make me, you're on both sides of the wall It's not the devil that you're facing, it's your shadow on the flow was that supposed to be his anxiety talking back, like some creepy little character? Because that's how that felt. That was like a rap, but not a rap. It was it uh, had a weird yeah. accent in there? Is he British or is he American? What? Because that was a very strange, possibly Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. But we'd have to figure out where he's from. <laughs> yeah that was that was i was like sometimes when somebody sounds slightly british but might be american it's usually an aussie so. <laughs> <laughs> right you ready ready <laughs> I 
I like, what I like about it. It yeah. doesn't have your bog standard typical instruments in there. There was some synthesizer sounds, some definite like weird sounds in there that were <laughs> proper instruments. It, I don't know. It's kind of like a, a weird concoction. In, like I like it. I, that it, why, I, that's what reminds me of DPR Ian because he does. Yeah. That. he does that a lot. Exactly. And also, the end kind of was almost like a musical depiction of how anxiety just burns away in your brain like that last kind of like but like I like the ending because it, it made me feel that anxiety that I you feel it was like a really good depiction of that yeah um, it was kind of chaotic energy yeah with voices in your head kind of thing I really like that so I like it too you know what that voice though I'm sorry. I might have to write an apology list nowadays. <laughs> okay, so we've got, okay, let's start at the top. Sugar, who's song? Aka, I'm sorry, but there are now four of you. Just say it. <laughs> it's getting longer. I mean, we'll just have to scrap the list and be like, you know what? <laughs> Whatever. With this reaction channel, you're gonna have a Bible. You're gonna have like, yeah, but the black book will be a literal thing. I'll have to carry it around. I'll be like this big. It's your apology, your bias apology book. Po- I'll be like opening the book every new reaction. Okay, sugar, Becca, <laughs> <laughs> Livingston. <laughs> I'll be working through. Then I'm sorry. There's no another one. <laughs> sorry for you. <laughs> sorry for you. Welcome to Leanne's long list of you know. Fabulous voices. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think I was a, a one girl, like a one singer girl, but f- <laughs> you're just loyal. Home. I am the most disloyal <laughs> person on the planet. No joke, like <laughs> I should know this about myself. I don't have one favorite of anything. Not a single thing. Not a food. Not a drink. Not a song. Not a movie. I have multiples of everything. This oh. is the same. See, I'm the, I'm the opposite of you. I, I like, I'm loyal to one, but like doing this reaction channel, I realized that like, I'm so like, not as loyal as I thought I was. <laughs> and I, okay, I, yeah, I knew I was never loyal. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually causes me anxiety because like I'll hear someone new and I'll be like, no, I can't think of them that way. <laughs> Is that why you still have the same biases? Yeah. Because you're so loyal. See, my, yeah. I, I don't lose a bias. I just extend the list. <laughs> I kind of like, uh, for it's me, longer. I think it, it's longer. I think for me, I categorize them differently in my head, like because they're so different. So like, like you can't ah. compare. So. That sounds like a good excuse. If I just create <laughs> categories, then it's fine. <laughs> yeah, because you technically can. You can be like your Auguste sugar bias is like a different genre to like, Taka from One OK Rock, for instance. So yeah, and rock. Wusong's more soft rock. Taka's more like harder rock. Exactly. Livingston's, <gasps> but then there's DPRE, and I forgot him on the list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> definitely okay. need categories. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's look at the next reaction, which is going to be the same. Well, he's. I don't know what song I picked. I just randomly picked a song that it's had called a "Last Man Standing." Okay, so oh, 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 oh. do you want to pause it for me? <laughs> stop! <laughs> it won't stop. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was very stressful. <laughs> it just kept going. <laughs> okay, so this one's last man standing, and this one is an actual MV. So refresh oh, how the man look. Oh, it cool. looks like okay. it. Are yeah, you ready? Okay. okay, ready. Let's do it. This one has subtitles. I like the piano. I've been around the world seven wonder Ooh, seven seas, but when all is said and done, you're the only thing I see, my love. Sorry, oh. the subtitles are trash, so I'm turning them off because they will Kay. be confusing. Okay. <laughs> so tell me what you're looking for. You're written in the stories, a living masterpiece. So when all is said and done, why you standing next to me, my love? So tell me what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. And you said, 
I don't need a symphony. I just want your voice and a melody. I don't need your diamond rings. I just want your love. Stop selling me. You know, as he's got a really heavy S, I wonder if he's got an overbite or an underbite or like a slight lisp because it's really obvious when he sings, it adds like a uniqueness the way it's like he pronounces his words right behind his top front teeth and it makes yeah. it sound unique. I like it. I like it a lot. And I like the, I like so far the song is more of a ballad compared to the last one, but I like the flow of it, like the the way he like runs each word straight after each other. Like I think it's beautiful the way he's composed this. I liked his little unique vocal like tremor there. What do they call that? Is it vocal fry? I don't think that's the right term. That little tremor he did, that little ad lib, it was kind of unique. I like, I'm living for it, man. <laughs> I know, I know you do. <laughs> I don't need the wind that's so dirty the witch. I just want to know when you're laughing. You don't need to be the king Cause I just want the last man standing Been around the world, lived a hundred fantasies But when all is said and done You're the only one I need, my love just tell me what you're looking for Cause you don't gotta fight so hard Darling, this is love, not war All I want is who you are That's what I've been looking for His voice brings the drama I would go in a heartbeat to a concert of his same i was just thinking listening to him there like he captivates you with the way he sings and it, even like the lyrics and the composition of the song is so unexpectedly ballad like but yet still has that eerie kind of rockness to it so this is totally my kind of music this is why i like dpr ian he has those same kind of way of drawing you in well yeah. like I've just I, added another white dude back to the list. Of, <laughs> <laughs> you've been missing white dudes for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I just like can picture him standing in a dark, like on a stage in a dark stadium with like lights in the audience. Yeah. Like, singing this, this would be phenomenal. This, this is giving me goosebumps just listening to it here. Yeah, can you imagine standing in the whole stadium listening to him sing this? It does. It, it, even though it's not an anthem kind song, it gives you that feeling of being like a bigger song than it appears to be that if that even makes sense it, it feels like a song i think it's the arrangement and it's his tone of voice he definitely has like a a rock voice and power in there but he's also got a really bassy yeah sort of haunting voice i love it i think i'm a new fan of mr livingston I think so too. Also, I think like there's not that much uh, like instrumental background music to this. this. His voice is carrying this all the way through. But the instrumental that he does have is really pretty. Like if he did this on like stage with an orchestra doing this behind him, that would be phenomenal. Do you know who he actually reminds me of? Oh, what is his name? Oh, I'm going to have to pause a minute. I cannot. I need his name. <laughs> okay okay so you know here he gives me james arthur okay Do you even know who that is no <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not helpful in any way <laughs> james arthur the way he sings he sounds slightly like that i'll send you after this reaction and you can okay. hear for yourself okay that's one of my favorite songs that he does is the duet with uh Anne Marie, that was her name. Anne Marie, rewrite the stars from the gay showman, and that's oh, what that's this great song show. and this voice is giving me. Okay, now I can pick. Now, now I know what song you're talking about. Okay, yeah, amazing. He's okay. got his kind of booming quality, but he, he can do ballads. But you know that there's a lot of power in there. It's this kind of feel. Yeah. Right. You ready? Ready. That was a long detour for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a symphony I just want your voice and a melody I don't need your diamond rings I just want your love, stop selling me I don't need the witness or dirty the witch 
I just want to know when you're landing. You don't need to be the king. Cause I just want the last man standing. And you say, I just want the last man standing now. And you say, I just want the last man standing. Oh, I don't need a symphony. I just want your voice and a melody. And I don't need your diamond rings. I just want your love, stop selling me. I don't need the witness or dirty the wings. I just want to know when you're landing. These lyrics are giving me girl that isn't settling down with one man and he's waiting for her to stop playing the field and just <laughs> pick him but i don't know if that's what they're meant to be about but that's just <laughs> what i'm getting i kind of got yes, that girl is playing the field son don't <laughs> wait to be the last man standing ditch the bitch she ain't good for you son just say it just come and ask us for advice we know you don't need to be writing songs like this. You need to be writing songs like, I realized you were a toxic hoe and I moved on. Okay? Oh, it's so funny. Oh, that's been standing. I hope that's not what it's about. I hope it's something really heartwarming and nice and not <laughs> waiting on <laughs> that player to stop playing. Okay. We've been there, though. We've all been there. Where yeah. you like with a player and you know like you like, well, one day they'll see me for who I am. One day they'll fall in love with me. One day they'll like, you know, especially Cut if you're like a friend to them. Yeah. Just be done. Just <laughs> your friends Come are and if you have doubts. Liam will put you straight. Liam will tell you. He will set you down and say, No. <laughs> Let us move on. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? You ready? You don't need to be the king Cause I just want the last man standing We should oh, probably sorry. look up the lyrics <laughs> <laughs> Just to be sure yeah, look Just to be Why sure does, <laughs> For some reason YouTube is not pausing today It's driving me crazy That's funny. I liked that I did not like if that was the message <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to look up the lyrics just to be sure. Yeah, just to be sure about it. I think it's um. I think like sometimes you get like so it's so hard to be seen as an artist and a musician and to become well known. I know that like from what I saw on his YouTube page, he's done covers in the past and now he's branching out out into his own music, which is a really good natural progression. But. Hey kind of does seem to be about somebody not it's like what unrequited love yeah it seems zone. to be about hoping somebody like stops playing the field stops like living their life and flying whatever there's a lot of metaphors in here and it uh, settles down to see him and his value and what he's worth yeah it's never going to happen. Trust us. No, you've been friend zoned. I'm sorry. <laughs> right? The more they the song, that means you've been friend zoned. We know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> We're terrible oh. romance writers. We are. <laughs> We're so no cynical. Whatsoever. <laughs> Actually, ironically, a lot of romance authors are cynical, you know, so it's interesting that there's that dynamic. So <laughs> that's well, why we write always romance. Friends funny about me is how non-romantic non-gushy non-cuddly feely i am but yet then you read my books and you're like no <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> i think it's the same as like like people that write k-dramas is that um, romance authors give the happy ending to life in a book when they know it probably doesn't happen in real life oh yeah <laughs> manufactured perfect men and stuff you know as we're writing them we're going as if, as if that would ever happen <laughs> uh, we're not marketing ourselves well here at all <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> we're keeping it real <laughs> oh, that was i like him i yeah. like him he yeah. is definitely on the we need to listen to more list I think oh so. he's our honorary honorary western dude <laughs> <laughs> and 
this video doesn't get blocked by him and his company. Let's hope it doesn't because we're promoting him. Um, we can put it on the la 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 light list, I think. Yeah, we can. Cause, like, I actually liked both of those songs really, like, a lot. I like the first one because it speaks more to me and my slightly weird rock side. But the second one was very, despite the fact that he had been friend zoned, he was very, like, it's ballady, but not really ballady. Yeah. It's, like, slightly rocky as well. Although that dude that came onto our video and said it's not rock music. We know, we that. know, dude. <laughs> just rock K, okay? That's rock, a thing. Rock, yeah, it has rock elements to it. So, yeah. And his rock voice totally sells that. Totally. Totally agree. So, oh, we love that. Thank you, Livingston, for making yes. us have a really cool, happy reaction to your beautiful, talented voice and music. Please keep, keep exactly. producing. We're uh, yes. we're gonna keep send them our in. way. We'll watch them. Yeah. Now we can. Now we're now we're gonna do. We won't be doing Livingston every week, but we'll we'll now start streaming his stuff and sharing it on Shorts probably. So that would be cool. Yeah. We like. We are new fans, and I'm sorry, Sugar we song Taka, <laughs> <Thank you, Ari. laughs> Yeah, and I have a fifth brother, so whatever. <laughs> Oh. We'll catch you in the next one. So, bye. bye. You did a good job, Lini. Please don't. Hey, fan base. So fluffy. What so is cute. actually wrong you with you? You're dance such a dance. freak. Dance dance. System failure. Lin, Sarah, hey. Ew.